Don't Bring a Magazine. I'm here together with the heavy metal fender Saxon with Biff. It's good to be here. Yep. So tonight you will play, hopefully, hopefully a great show. Is this the first show in the Metal Fest open air? Well, yesterday was a good show in, uh, in De Dessau, in Germany. It's the same festival, but yeah, yeah it should be good. It should be good. We're going to uh, play some new songs, some old songs, you know, some slow songs, some fast songs. So, complete Saxon. Pardon? Complete Saxon. Complete Saxon, yeah. So you will you will release in June a new album called Call to Arms. What can you tell about that? Uh, June the third, yeah. Well, it's a bit a bit different to our last album. It's a bit more um, it's a bit more in the spirit of the eighties, a bit really. Um, but a little bit live uh, recording more than uh, digital uh, production all the time. So yeah, it's a little bit different, a bit more dynamic, a bit more in your face, you know. So it's more real. Uh, yeah, it's definitely more not this, real. Not this clean. It's more real, yeah. And it's funny because I have um, some interviews also this weekend and many bands going again that way that they're recording again live. It doesn't and want to kick out all this digital yeah, stuff. It's not, it's not so much live, it's just performance, you know. Rather than keep doing like little bits of overdubs, you just play everything through in one go. Which is a new, newer technique, really. And... Um, You know, the Foo Fighters have done it on their new album, and we've done it. I think Metallica did it on their last album, so it, it's becoming quite common now, you know. Okay. Okay. So hopefully, let's look into that, but maybe it will be great. So, you're a long time yet in the scene, I think over 30 years. Yeah. So, what do you think? What do you think that, that heavy metal is starting again to rise so, since like the 80s? Um, Well, there's, you know, there's still different genres, isn't there, of, of metal. Um, you know, there's more hardcore and then there's a more sort of classic metal that we play. But uh, we mix it up a bit now. We play, you know, some of our stuff's quite dark now. And some of it's still in the blues field, you know. So um, I think I think the, I think in some countries metal has never been away. But I think in other countries where it did go away, it's coming back strong. For instance, Germany, Austria... Poland, you know, Belgium, those countries, I think they stayed very strong there, you know, I mean, we took consistently through the, through the dark periods, uh, through, through Europe, but I think in places like England and America, uh, uh, it's coming back again really big, you know. So that's good for you? I think, yeah, it's good for us, yeah, but I think, especially, um, you know, the German, Austrian, well, the gas, gas countries, is it, gas countries are being very strong over the years for metal and I mean Saxon was one of the first new wave of heavy British heavy metal bands that have come the words out so when you look at all these bands like Iron Maiden Judas Priest I mean no no one of us get getting younger but do you think that there will coming bands after them they can talk, uh, walk in their footsteps I don't know I hope so um I hope so. I mean, there are a lot of bands now that follow the follow the path of the 80s um, way of writing songs and the way of, uh, you know, denim and leather, that sort of thing. Not quite so demonic, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think maybe there will be some bands. And there are a few bands emerged, haven't they? Like Airborne, and bands like that, you know, that are fairly straightforward rock rock music, you know what I mean? Fan of them. I like, I like I like Airborne. I saw them when they very first played. They have an energy, don't they? I mean, Vanderburst, the band that are supporting us on tour, are pretty good from Holland. Crowns of Passion are pretty good, you know. So yeah. So these bands, do you support? Do you choose them by yourself, or will this go over the booking agency? No, we chose them by ourselves. So you really listen to them and say, hey, yeah, let's go. We do, yeah, yeah. It's very important for you. Uh, I think it's important that we help new new acts new bands to come along and um, we support new bands all the time so like in the, in the time when you started making music back in the 70s when nobody helped us actually really? so you really have all yeah, do by yourself nobody helped us no we had to do it all by ourselves it's also the it's all right it doesn't matter you know this is also this uh, of the lyrics of back in 79 also the the theme of this uh, yeah back in 79 is a bit sort of more like the new wave of metal from then to now you know Uh, we played it. We've been playing it on tour. Everybody seems to like it. 
you know. It's a great song. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it is a great PA and the bass drum loud. It's a great song, you know. So we'll see. So when you when you look back at this time, this decades, what you're doing, touring, re releasing albums, rehearsal a lot, have a lot of fun, I guess. Um, are there any any goals or dreams if you want, where you want to reach in the near future? Uh, no, not really. You're quite satisfied. I mean, we're quite satisfied. You know, the the the, the music's coming back strong again. Um, you know, our albums are are really strong. You know, we have a great chemistry in the band, songwriting. So I think we're writing great, still writing great songs. So I think as long as we're still doing that, then everything's fine. So it's the, it's always the same uh, for for the feeling from the heart. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and we have to you have to stay fit. You know, so I think that's the secret. Stay fit playing music. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, do, what do you think? What we can expect from Saxon in the next years? Uh, hopefully, good live shows. Hopefully, many CDs. We're touring, touring on this tour until December, and then we go. Um, I think we're doing an orchestra, an orchestra uh, gig with an orchestra. Okay, oh, great. In Warsaw, I think. So that's the next thing we're doing. And which orchestra will this be? Uh, it could be the Warsaw Philharmonic, I think, or maybe the. I don't know, there's three orchestras we could use, so we haven't made our minds up yet. So was there a wish of the band to do something like this? Um, we just like doing things different, you know. Always? Always, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a bit from Saxon, you're watching Stormbringer magazine, rock off your eyebrows. Thanks you.